Money never sleep, baby. Money never sleep. Producer UJ is back in the penthouse. Judd couldn't close, so I stepped in. I'm going to put it on the Instagram. It's not been posted in a while, but I think it could get sold today. So H is about to watch. It's now uh, on to these gents. I posted yesterday. I said it'd be sold within the hour. This is Troy's Everything for Sale. Do not watch his video. So today I'm going to address the massive elephant in the room. Wasn't me last time I left. It's the one that keeps calling me. Yeah, it's the other one. one. At 6:47 a.m. Hello, wages, baby. No, wages need to be paid. You don't need to text me at 6:47. Wake me up. Money never sleeps, baby. Money never sleeps. So I had a 2023 bluesy sub lined up. 6:45, we took the deposit. Had to let Tilly know to remind me when I got in, but the time I got in, half nine, I already lined one up, bought it and pre-sold it, so Tilly didn't even have to get called at 6.45. I woke up for nothing, literally nothing. He does it to wind me up, because he's laughing now behind you, look. It's one of, this is one of the morning deals. It's uh, Cartier du Mont. Yeah, it's a smart look, to be honest. It's not my cup of tea personally, but it's a lovely look. It just had a pipe change come in, so an AP Royal Oak offshore custom diamond set on the case and bezel with a plain dial, very clean looking. Customer's gone for a Wimbledon and a bit of change his way. Producer UJ is back in the penthouse. It's been newly refurbished, so he's here today with his crew. So he's going to ask us some questions and post on his YouTube channel. Listen, producer UJ here, I'm back in the penthouse. Listen, I honestly feel like this is my second home because I come in here just to look at watches, sell watches, buy watches. So listen, I'm back home and today we're gonna film an absolute movie. And I obviously wanna thank the Trotters for showing me so much, so much love every single time I come in here. From Callum to Alex, Jed, always show me love. So thank you guys so much. Let's film this movie. All box and papers, everything here is available for sale. Even, <laughs> even the outfit. How much, how much, how much? Uh, the watch, uh, 60K, the outfit, 20 quid will do. I uh, overloaded on Coca-Cola and it was like a, literally an 18 minute buzz. And we started at four. 20 past four, crash and bound. This is what they call the downer. Judd couldn't close, so I stepped in. I've done it for him. <laughs> Black ceramic Daytona. Gone to this lovely gentleman here. Very happy with it. Good choice. I'm doing better than all of them put together, if you ask me. Just sold a steel and gold 26 mil. Uh, pink dial. Is it for, is it present? Yeah, birthday present, yeah. For 30th birthday. I keep getting all the 30th birthday recently. Maybe it's a sign that my 30th. I might get a watch. Yellow gold sky dweller, discontinued champagne. They call this the Arabic dial. I like to call it the number dial because it's still obviously English numbers. Um, but beautiful watch. Discontinued now. It's a 2016 model. So I'm uh, taking some pictures of some watches for the Instagram. I've got a Cartier tank in the steel and rose with the rare mother of pearl pink doll. This is available for 3995 and I believe it's a 213. Lovely watch, get a message in if you're interested. I'm gonna put it on the Instagram because it's not been posted in a while, but I think it could get sold today because uh, the amount of ladies that message and ask for the, I think it's the Panther in the all gold, but this could be another one that it could like the look of. Blank out the name. So, I'm waiting for a deposit over now. Tilly's upload. Did you use that today? Right now, about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I did. Let's yeah. go do another one. Let's go do another yeah. one. Tilly's come on leaps and bounds over the last few weeks. Uh, she's been uploading a few things on Instagram herself, on the story, on the main page, which I think you guys are liking. Um, she sold pretty much a lot of the watches that she's uploaded, so she's on a roll at the minute. Good luck to her. Give her a target to hit by Christmas. Let's see if she can do it. Obviously, it looks looks good from, from your guys' point of view, but when she's only from the best, it's really a walk in the park. So we just had a gentleman bring this Cartier. 
he thinks it needs a service because the watch is rattling and some of the links are a little bit loose so i'm going to take it to my workshop get a quote for him see if he wants to go ahead and then he'll have a perfectly working watch within the next two weeks i posted yesterday i said it'd be sold within the hour and it was it's going to this gentleman it's a present oh my god that's the most ruthless yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So H, if you're watching, sorry bro. If you have a day off, mate, and you leave your stock here, it's gonna get sold. So H's personal watch. It's now uh, on to these gents from Norway. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is actually quite mad. H, I had no input in this. I did say I was at the back to try it on, so that's my input. Damn. Sorry H, I'll find you another Pepsi. <laughs> wow. So, didn't you sell H's watch? Also sold the blue, well, the navy sky stainless steel where's the strap I know, I know i know h and i know what he's feeling he's he might have took it a little bit personal but he knows all love so i've come in after my day off obviously following up on the sales because that's what we do always follow up and i've had a nice surprise that um my watch has been sold um no mark cards marked yeah and quite frankly the the commission's just, just not not right there what can we say Cow, cow's tactics he just dropped calls and locks off oh yeah profit's a profit this is Charles. everything for sale um obviously we do we do love watches but we don't get attached to them and there's always another one available i'm not that pissed off but i will milk it <laughs> it will get milked you will lose the same percentage if you were to take the 23 or the 22. Okay. In comparison, it, if you were to sell to me, for example. Yeah. Well, that's what Alex was saying. So if you were to sell it to us, whether it's the 23 or 22, the percentage that you're going to lose, the difference is going to be the same. It doesn't affect us. Okay. Obviously, I would always take it back off. We always sell these socks. This is our bread and butter. Obviously, this is more the upmarket stuff, yeah, but yeah. we still need them for stock. We always keep at least two in stock. Yeah. So we'll always do some business in the long run. Bar the bracelet, there's nothing that separates the watch from one another. But after seeing it in person, I quite like, I quite like the Oyster. Really? Yeah. It's per personal preference, bro. Okay. Don't get sucked in as that, oh yeah, if it's had one polish, oh yeah, it's done. Yeah, yeah. As long as you go to a right polisher, they don't curve the edges. One, one, one set of polish every two years is more than enough. If you wear your watches right. All right, well, um, chat to me, man. Chat to me some numbers. What can you do? What the can clean, you the cleaning I do. So I polish the watches in the shop. Mm -hmm. So um, we we wouldn't charge anything for the polish and the refurb. Yeah. But the winder is stiff, bro. Okay. So it will need a service. What can you do, me? On this. Be be polite. Be polite. Obviously, it's my first time with trotters, so I would have thought we could look after it a bit better. So long. The Jubilees are worth more value, correct? Yeah, more than always time. more. About s s six, seven hundred pounds more. Okay. I'll be honest, there's not much margin in this one, bro. Who's that? We've quoted gent that, which means we've got that in it. I don't think there's much moving in there, I'll be honest. That's the 32 planet. Yeah. I think it is what it is, isn't it? It's as well. I, I could probably knock, I could probably knock like a. 150 off. I can't be asked. I don't want to come here and just give you guys a headache. I'd rather, it is what it is, it's a Rolex at the end of the day. Yeah, of you course. can't bargain, it's not a kebab, bro. You know? <laughs> Do you bargain on the kebabs? Well, I, I had them touch, yeah. I had them touch, touch, and then I'll be a bit yeah, sus when it comes to bargaining. Hard bargaining. No, they're all right, I don't have to, I don't have to move with them, man. Yeah, what did you call them, Abe? Uh, Abe, yeah, 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 that always works, man. Well, you guys move watches all day for me, it's a one off purchase for a couple of years. It'll keep me happy. Nah, he's, a, he's, a, he's a salesman as well. What's yeah. your profession? Just a little vape shop, bro. Like yeah. There, bro. <laughs> I sell vape, vapes for a living, bro. Um, can oh, you yeah. meet me in the middle? Oh, bro, I'll be really comfortable, man. It'll make me happy, bro. I know. Oh, I know. Pounds, bro. You oh, can't. I know. Huh? Bear, bear in mind, normally we'd knock 350 off the service. Yeah, I'm not uh, 200 off. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Vape Pub, my guy, he knows who he is. Just done a deal with him. What? Part exchange, he's so they just 36 mil. Right. Custom set from us. And he's actually chopping it in for a nice you, upgrade, you, setting the bar high. Got a 22 plate, they just 41. Reference 126331. It's a lovely watch. If you are interested in this watch, we do have a few more in stock, so get in touch with me and I'll give you the details. Yes guys, and welcome back. 
So today I'm going to address the massive elephant in the room, uh, which is what is going on with the current watch market. Uh, we've had a lot of criticism, uh, criticism sorry, over the last sort of uh, three, four months on our YouTube, on our Instagram. People commenting saying, you know, what we're saying is lies. Uh, we've been, you know, misleading people. We basically are judging all of our knowledge off of hardcore facts, which I'm going to present to you guys today. So for any of you guys that are watching right now who are generally interested in the uh, watch market or for anyone out there who is watching who seem to comment a lot and, you know, uh, tell say that we're, I don't know, ripping people off or, you know, misleading information, there is actually a website out there guys that you yourself can go on all this knowledge is there available for you guys you can read up on yourself this isn't me telling you this is the uh, official website it is called www.watchcharts.com uh, you guys can go on there yourself you can have a look it covers all watch brands rolex ap patek richard mill tag you name it they cover it you can select each individual brand on there to see how that brand has been performing over the last five years. Or if you want, as a massive, uh, in general, watches in itself, you can see how the watches, all the brands, have been going over the last five years. So I'm just gonna focus today on Rolex. Uh, as you guys know, it's our best-selling brand. It's probably the best-selling watch brand in the world. Uh, I'm gonna explain you know, how the prices have come up and come down, the reasons behind that, and what we think, uh, and then obviously you guys can see it for yourself with the graph. So what they do is they select the top 30 best-selling models. They then average out the price of all of their models. So for, for instance, on this case for Rolex, they've averaged it out to be around $27,322. This website is a USA website, so it's gonna be priced in dollars today. So I'm gonna start off with showing you guys how you know, how the watch market has dipped. You know, we're not hiding this from anyone. Uh, we've been saying it for the last sort of six months to eight months that this the market has dropped off a lot recently. So as you guys can see here on the chart, in the last month, the Rolex prices have dropped 2.3%. Uh, uh, in the last six months, it's been 4.5%. And in the last year, so talking from September, we're in September 23 now, back to September 2022, we've seen a, uh, a decrease of 11.1%. When we go back to us telling customers that it's not the best time to sell because the watch market is down, we're not lying to them. The guy, you guys can see it here on the website. In the last year, the watch market has dropped 11.1%. However, us as a company, when we're serving watches to our customers and all of our customers out there will back it up, we always tell people that the watch market is a long-term game. It's not a short-term game. There was a time throughout COVID where uh, watch prices were jumping sort of weekly, daily in some cases. Uh, we have always gone and stood by our word to say this was such an unusual time. You guys can see it from the chart here that throughout sort of 2021, 2022, there was a crazy spike. Uh, we, always, we always said that the watch market would never sort of stay at that. It will sort of come back down. And as you guys can see on the graph, it's kind of dropped back down to sort of how it was heading, always steadily increasing. Uh, so if you look at the last three years of Rolexes, there's actually been a 17.2% increase. Over the course of five years, so we're now talking back to 2018, Rolex watch market has increased by 47.6%. This is not me lying, guys. You guys can go on this website. I'm gonna constantly keep putting the link there for you guys to have a look at. So when we're saying uh, watches are long-term uh, watches for investment, that this is us saying that if you buy a watch today, in five years time, might not be 47% increase. However, there has been truth behind watches increasing. Uh, the watch market, apart from the last sort of like 2021 to 22, uh, the watch market has never really dropped off with Rolexes. It's always been a steadily increase. And that's how we feel the watch market will carry on going from now. You can also go as far as actually selecting a certain model. So I'm just gonna to touch on this one purely because I think the last episode or the, or the episode before that, I told a customer that a watch in general will retain 85% of its value. I had a lot of people uh, commenting about this saying it was untrue, that I was ripping him off. However, again, not me. If you go to the website for the facts, you can check that this root beer that I was explaining to the customer 
back in uh, February, March time, which you can see on the graph as well, uh, on average would have cost you around 17K. So on average is again, they're basically saying, well, an older one would be less, the newer one's a bit more. So we're gonna average out to about 17K. Based on today's market, the value of that watch would be around 15.5 pound average. That means the customer would have retained 88% of the value, not 85. So I was maybe a touch wrong. So this is just me addressing a, a comment that was given to me, uh, saying that I was misleading the customer by saying it was gonna retain 85% of its value. As you can see over the last sort of six, seven months, it's actually retained 88% of its value. However, if you'd have go back further to a year, three years, uh, at the mark, current market price at 15.5, it would actually be an increase. I was only given an average over the course of like a 12 month period. So yeah, if any of you guys out there have got a watch that you paid for and you kind of want to see uh, the individual model itself you guys can go on this website you can search your model you can check the history of it of the last six months i think if you want to check the last year three years or five years you have to pay for the subscription um, so i'll leave that guys up to you there's also a few articles out there that you guys might have seen uh, again not trotters stuff like bloomberg where they've actually uh, put out uh, posts saying that watch market in particular rolex and patek has been a better investment than the S&P 500. I hope that sort of clears a few things up for a few people. Um, you know, we are, we are, well, we do try and be honest to people uh, when we're saying about buying watches. When people were buying watches from us in the hype, you know, we was saying that you're buying the watch at a premium. Uh, we never sort of held a gun to anyone's head to say to buy the watch. You know, these watches are a supply and demand. And as long as there's, there's gonna be a demand for the watch, then obviously uh, we'll always be supplying them. We feel like right now is maybe a good time to buy because the market is probably dropped back down to, to sort of how it was pre-COVID. Um, so if any of you guys are interested or have more questions about this website, feel free to message us um, and we're, we're here to help.